Okay, good morning everyone. I have um, just thought <laughs> I was going to do something else. I was going to go through, yeah, last night I was cutting out bits from magazines. So I was going to do some gluing in my glue book this morning. But last night while I was in line bed, I had an idea. So with my pages of my glue book, when I use them and they get all sticky, fold them in half, we're going to use them for tags or ephemera or anything. And then I got thinking, I think it was something, um, I don't know if it was, I don't know, it was a video I was watching and they're talking about how, it might have been Gail, talking about people not getting a junk journal, not understanding what to use. So it's hard to sell things other than to people who really get it because generally people don't go, oh, that's cute and buy it because they don't quite understand it. Anyway, um, and I got thinking about the old style brag book, photo brag books that you would give to grandparents or, um, well, generally grandparents and it would have maybe some school photos or some current photos or a little, little booklet that they could have in their handbag or whatever to show. So I thought... Why don't we make one of those out of these bits of paper? Make a little photo break book. Just an idea. So, that's what I thought we could start doing today. Um, it's Monday, no, what day is it? It's Tuesday morning. It's currently quarter to seven. Um, my partner gets off night shift soon and he'll be home about 7.30ish. So I've got sort of 45 minutes to film whatever I'm going to film today probably about half an hour-ish really um, and then I need to get ready for work and have breakfast with him etc etc so um, I suspect this will be in multiple parts and I might do a little bit off camera I've got some sewing to do and my sewing machine's over there it's just too hard to move over here um, it's set up and the cable doesn't reach okay so let's get started I was thinking about so I'm going to um, put a, a hinge in I think I was watching I, I mean I've done it for a long time I've got an old um, a few old journals this is a really old one where I've hinged it there where paper doesn't go together um, where you've wanted to do pages that are a bit too big so I thought maybe try hinging them so we'll see if this works um, I was going to use music paper but, oh sorry um, music paper is not quite most music paper I've got isn't is too brittle and so once you start folding it it um, um, it breaks um, this paper is quite really, this is my Trixie Belgian book from the other day um, it's quite robust it seems to cope with folding so I thought okay that will work now one thing I've realised with hinges is to make sure that you're um, folding the paper the way the natural bend goes. So most commercial made paper has um, a weave much the same as a um, as fabric does, it has a general weave. And you can normally feel it, so I don't know if you can notice with this video, but there's a lot more give to fold it this way it folds a lot easier whereas this way it just at the base there it just doesn't seem to give as much so it folds more naturally this way and you can feel it generally if you do paper um, if you're folding it against it you'll you can break the weave or the fibers a bit and it makes the paper a bit more brittle whereas if you're folding it this way yes it is a little bit better now, it doesn't mean that every paper that you fold the wrong way is going to fall apart. Of course it doesn't. Um, but it does make it a little bit... Oh, I probably don't even need to do that bit off. Okay. So to start off with, I'm just going to use these pages as a bit of a hinge there. And fold the edges over. So I probably should have left that bit actually. But that's okay. Actually, I might do this one. Then I can 
Um, so basically I'm just gluing the whole bit. Um, I said I may stitch it. We'll see. Um, it doesn't really matter, it doesn't have to be hideously even because I'm going to decorate or collage the papers a bit anyway. Oops, a little bit more. I don't know if you can see. A little bit of a gap there so that there's room for it to fold. And then I'm just folding this over just to give it a bit more strength there. And so then I want to make these, I don't know how many, I'll probably make all these up. Um, once they're all made, they then will go into a cover. Um, I've got a bit of an idea for the pages, but that will be a, a second one that I will tell you about when um, we're up to that. But, oh, this one's nearing the end. So even though at the moment I'm just sticking these, I'm not too worried about it being perfect because I'm pretty sure I'm going to um, sew them in place as well. Um, but I was watching a video with uh, at Roxy Creations, she was doing a similar thing with paper, like gusseting them. And um, when I was watching, I was like, oh, I remember, I used to do that in some of my older journals. And um, and then I, as I said, then I thought, oh, that will work with these. So it was a bit of a, I guess, fortuitous. Um, but like no one, and I think previously I'd watched it on the rebookery, maybe a year or so ago. I think she did it. Um, I think that's probably where I learnt it from. Um, not quite sure, but it was. Oops, that didn't fold very straight colour. Oops, I just need to take my sorry for leaving it across. My tea straight out my tea. It's early morning so I've got my tea, of course. I've put my second light up so hopefully it's a bit better. I might have to change the position. It still seems to be a bit dark around this area, but definitely better over here. I tell you this channel is turning into a bit of a comedy of errors but thank you people bearing with me as I learn. I guess it's all about that isn't it? It's all about learning. Oh, that's a blank one. Oh, what might I use that one for? So yes, so I find if I get up early in the morning, I can do a bit of filming before everyone gets up, which is alright. I was going to do some the other day, I sort of thought, oh no, I'll do it with the kids are up, but the boys are playing their games very loudly <clears throat> in the next area of the room. There is a barrier sort of thing, but it's still very loud, and I'm like, oh. And normally they're pretty good, but every now and then, I mean, my, my children are 17 and 21. So every now and again you might hear some swear words. So I thought, mm, I won't risk it. And I will um, wait until there's no one around. Because <laughs> the last thing I need is cursing from the other side of the room. Oh, I like this bit. I might take that bit off. One of the cool things every now and again I keep finding things like this 
tape. This bit was quite cool. And then this graphic. That one I showed you before. So I've got a few collections of the pages where I went, oh, I like that. And um, so I have used it. <laughs> I might just, just for sake of ease at the moment, I'll grab another one. <coughs> oh, fresh glue stick. It's glide. Oh, glide. So we had our federal election on the weekend and well for me it was a disappointing result I was hoping for a change in government we have a conservative government at the moment here and I tend to be more left-wing so that was a little bit disappointing but as I say on wooden upwards I was a little bit heartbroken on the day as were many of my colleagues. Um, the current government don't really have a lot to good to say about early childhood, which is my what I do for my day job. So anyway, I'm not going to get into politics on YouTube. It's not really worth it. But suffice to say, it wasn't a great day. But that's right. And it's been quite good news. My father-in-law was quite ill. Well, my ex-father-in-law, the boy's dad, boy's grandfather. And it's one of the reasons why my eldest flew off to Adelaide to go see him. But he's doing very, very much better. So much better. So, which is good news. I won't go into the ins and outs of it because I haven't actually obviously got permission to share all of that. But it is... Um, Good news nonetheless, and the boys, of course, are very happy. I definitely feel this week is a lot. Last week I was just cactus by the end of it. It was such a hard week. Just exhausting more than anything. This is one I just pulled apart. I just because I wanted the... These script pages. Okay. <coughs> oh me. I must admit this can't be too thrilling. Watching me glue pages together. Well that sometimes I guess it's comforting. Oops. Alright, thirteen. I haven't even worked out what to do with the colour yet. I don't know whether to try and cut down a book cover. Do I create one? I've got lots of chipboard. Do I go fabric? Make it a bit softer, but if it's something that you're going to make to be around. So obviously, I can't put all of these together. There might have to be a few. Um, the other thought I had was flip outs once they're in. But you could have, this is for a little brag book. Have three of them, maybe. One, two, three. Yeah, I guess I could have made the gussets a little bit bigger than they would have fit in. And that would work. One, two, three. Lovely glue. And I had a little one start yesterday. He was a baby still, well, nine, ten months old. But it's funny, going back to a little one, 
And that one's good fun. Oop. Okay. So then, the other thought I had. Sorry. And to decorate, obviously you don't want to decorate them too heavily because um, oops, my messy painty water. Um, yeah, then they won't fold at all and then you end up with just a big fat book that's in the way. So I had a bit of this thought. This is the <laughs> I don't know where I've got it from. I must have been given it. I don't know. But um, for ages I thought it was an embossing powder. And then I realised it wasn't. It was like a watercolour. I don't know. Something. Shimmer. I don't think it even has a... Something. I don't know. Anyway. It's quite cool. So if I just do this tiniest little I'm gonna wash over these pages and set them aside. So if we just work on three, I mean, this is a terrible brush as well. Hands <laughs> of children, look at it. <laughs> it's awful. <laughs> One of the ones the kids were using <laughs> when they were sitting with me doing some crap. That's okay. It doesn't matter if it's uneven. Or anything. Oh. One, two. Oops. And this third one. Okay. Well, this one's quite tight. I must have had more. just adding a little bit of extra taking some of the colour off this one just not where it's a bit lighter on this one than we can So, I don't even know the proper way to use it. If anyone does know, let me know. But, see, this one's almost dry. I might even do it on the other side. And then I can probably pause this video while they dry and then I can continue on. I won't do two videos, I'll still use it. I've actually got one pretty sure about to upload today of stuff that I got on the weekend, which by the time you see this one you would have hopefully seen it.
Um, can you see that's probably out of shot, sorry. You do it really heavy and when you just have it. But that's cool. Actually what I should have done is put a bit more paper down the middle, but it's okay. I don't want to make it too thick. There we go. Oh, I hear a child moving upstairs. Seems to have children getting ready for school. Which is always good. There we go. Alright. Well, I'm going to press pause or stop and I'll wait till these will dry and I'll come back to them and we will do some more work on the pages. Okay. Oops, wrong side. Okay, good morning everyone. It's 24 hours later. <laughs> so, um, yesterday, and for you it would seem like just a few seconds ago, I um, painted, stuck and painted these bits of paper into little um, bold things. I was looking at making a bit of a brag book photos thing. So um, I waited for them to dry from the paint and then just stitched um, the edge of where the gusset paper is or the hinge paper all the way around and let them dry. Um, I had a bit of a play um, and sewed these ones and I'll show you what I did there. Um, so these have got little plastic sleeves so that you can put photos in them. So how I, what I did, this is just um, plastic from um, old school assignments. So putting on, I've got one of those plastic ring binders, not the metal ones, but you know, plastic ones and you punch the hole and you, so I had a heap of these that I pulled off of old assignments. And you can also just buy it different thicknesses um, from station shops here in Australia, I buy it from office works, but that sort of thing. So um, I had a heap of these that have been used. So I cut up um, for this shape it was actually pretty much exactly in fours um, which was pretty good a little bit of trimming around the edges but not too much so that was good so then I'm left with these little pieces um, and I punched a little hole in them I really eyeballed it I didn't bother with um, smaller than I thought. Um, didn't bother with the measuring or anything. Okay. Just um, estimated about halfway or so. Did the holes. Okay, so now I've got little, you can see that, little hole there. Um, then I got my piece of paper and I had a couple of, oh, I don't know. Um, I won't do the whole thing because my sewing machine's over there, it's too hard to move, so, but I did this. Okay. Anyway, 
it's a worked out where I wanted it. Obviously not too close to the centre gusset thing there. Put another one. Try not to say the paper scraps in it. <laughs> So then I just held it in place with paper clips and then just whizzed around the same machine. That was it. So that's what that one looked like. So I'll do that one later off camera because it's all the way over here. So I did that. So then I was left with these. Um, they're quite thick and sturdy already, but I still thought the cover was quite good. Um, a little note, and what I didn't do, and I should have, and I've gone back and the other ones that I glued so these are some of the other ones I glued yesterday so I glued that back page on um, I then went back as well and stuck another piece on the inside because I realised that these have only got the single layer of paper it's quite sturdy so I think it's fine um, but oh pardon me anyone oh. anyway so um, I've gone over so then I was thinking what to put on the outside and I didn't know and whether to put them together I thought if you put them together as signatures really you can't go any more than one like two so you can put them otherwise it just gets too bulky and thick um, and also it's only supposed to be like a little flip gift rag book type thing so you wouldn't need any more so I almost I would think almost just one and that's four let's see if it's four photos but you can do eight so then I was thinking about covers so I have two options so I keep this whole box oh you can't see it so this box here is full of um, packaging, so tags and back, backing and things like this. So I keep all of them, <laughs> pretty much, if I remember to. Um, they're often really good sizes and they're good thicknesses for things anyway. Um, so I've got all of these. So I was going through those, see if I could find something. Um, and these ones, these are old from embossing folders. I can't remember when I bought them. I still got them, but I don't know when. Anyway, this it was pretty much spot on, so it's a little bit a little bit little. Tiny little bit of overhang. You can see there. Uh, you can see that, but tiny little bit of overhang. That would be easy enough once we cover it. I could even put a little bit of fabric or even a little bit of card as a bit of an overhang so that would be easy to sort that yeah, and you could always just use purposed made card I had these um, oops, fire folders that I got cheap I could easily make it and then trim that which is another thought Um, and then just trim it. But then I thought, oh, I feel like I'm wasting the file folder, folder, file folder cut out. Um, but um, it doesn't really matter. So there's that. And then the other thought I had, and I did cut it out already. So I again, I keep all the chipboard off of the back of scrapbooking paper and um, in packaging. We get a lot of packaging with. Um, chipboard and stuff so I did cut to size because I did go looking for books and I have a few hang on just grab them so I had a few of these size books um, but again it's slightly bit big and I didn't want to I could cut it down but I didn't want to waste the size that it is and then I've got some little Beatrix Potter books as well 
and again they're like perfect size maybe a tiny bit too small I was like oh, I didn't want to waste I didn't want to um, have it not fit so umming and eyeing about that so at this stage what I thought I'd we could do is I could make two because I don't think I have time to finish it so if I do one with just one of these covers so that's just got a little four page one I don't know or maybe two or whether we could just get and uh, making the cover for this one which in itself would be quite good and then that can have all three and we could almost put them in as separate separate signatures and then they won't bulk up together which I think is where I'm leaning I think that might, might work quite well once I get that third one sewn up which I will um, probably when I get off camera I'll finish that up and sew that up and put it in there so maybe we just go through that okay I think I've made my decision for me <laughs> trying to work out what to do but that might just be the best bit one two three okay all right so then we have putting together which is quite funny because I wasn't planning on making a whole jam from scratch but that's okay that's as your ideas come and go and turn into little things so I think that's what we'll do we'll make one from this um, what we should do is I do so when I do um, covers or anything a bit more gluey um, I like to use this Mod Podge um, I know there's lots of different sorts oh sorry out of shot I know there's lots of different sorts this one's nice because it's a more matte one I find that the traditional one is a bit glossy and I bought some gel medium which I loved but again it was quite glossy so sometimes it just makes it a bit sticky um, sometimes whereas this one um, it is, is quite a matte finish so that works quite well when you're slathering glue on and making a mess everywhere. Um, it works quite well. And the other thing I do, oh sorry, look, I need that crinkly. When I'm doing it is to um, do it on paper so I don't get too much mess on the craft. Although there's plenty of mess on there already. So I think to keep in line with my text and pages that I'm using, I might just use text and stuff to cover something over. Oh, sorry. There we go, rip some pages. So the other thing that arrived yesterday which I was a bit excited about was my metal tearing ruler. Um, this is really cool. So I just bought it on Amazon. Um, here it was Amazon in Australia um, from the Ojoy brand. I'll put a link below. I know there's quite a few going around at the moment um, but I wanted a metal ruler uh, and it's great. I, really, I was really amazed at how good it works. Okay, so let us just tear off the white bit. I'm being strong and getting like I was keeping every single scrap, even these sort of lighter bits. But honestly, you end up with hundreds. I sat yesterday, last night, and made this paper bag. So I have a ton of these. I've shown them before. The chicken bags. Uh -oh. Anyway, and I have made this one where I stuck on the top and then the back is just fairly plain. A couple of pieces. And then last night I just sat and stuck strips. Which came out quite good. I think I might actually stitch around the edge, even though I don't need to because it is already a bag. But anyway, that's getting distracted. Sorry. 
I do that, I get distracted. So, sorry, let's just tear off some of these white bits. And we can get with gluing. I may even end up putting some of that luminescent stuff, whatever it is, the powder stuff, on the cover once I've once it's dried, which would be good. And again, to bring it all together. And um, oh, come in. I have to find. I've got some. I use just fabric tape. Um, duct tape for the cover uh, for the spines normally, or fabric. I have to see what colour we've got, but I have to wait until it dries fully anyway, otherwise it won't stick. So that will be for another video. Um, I will put this up even though it's sort of already in two parts, but um, that will plan. I was hoping that it wouldn't take very long to finish and then that's when you get more ideas. Of course, more ideas take more time, but that's okay. Matt is on night shift again. Well, just finishing up. He will be finishing up any minute now. And then he actually has two weeks off. So that should be good. So, let's find the brush that's not revolting. We've got <laughs> the children here were using watercolour, so <laughs> watercolour paint, water, but it doesn't really matter because by the time I paint it, the little bit of colour is fine. A bit of colour happening. Oops, I just realised I put it Tear it some more and get glue on my fingers. Okay, so I don't know, there's probably real proper ways of using decoupage glue that works, and I do admit sometimes I do get a bit bumpy and stuff, but it's not too bad. I don't know. Um, I may even stitch directly on this. This is, even though it's chipboard, it's probably reasonable enough to stitch on. Um. So really it's just a matter of I do like to try and mix up the which way the text is going. So it's, what day is it? I don't even know what day it is. Wednesday morning. Wednesday morning. So, almost halfway through the week, we'll see. We've got um, a, spun, oh, what was it? A simultaneous story time down at the park today. Which should be good fun. Um, I think they must be doing it. I don't know if it's around Australia, I don't know actually, I'll have to find more information about it. but anyway we're going down to the park with the children today which should be good fun, they'll enjoy that, they always enjoy going to the park. Um. Oh, there we go. I do often end up being quite a gluey mess from all of this, but oh, that's okay. I 
as you can see, lots of glue everywhere. Another good reason, this is just baking paper, but um, it means the glue doesn't, like, things that stick to it per se, so, um, um, so you can flip it over and things can dry touching it, that's fine. I know I could have just sort of done straight text, but I quite like the look of this. I've done it a few times in very a variety of things. Yeah. Okay. So on the inside, I'm not going to fill up so when I do this I'll stick it over but then I'll actually just stick probably I don't know something straight on but I'll let that dry a bit more first oh, I'll put that on. I just realise my cup of tea is brewing away a nice big strong oh, cup of tea So, I know, proper decoupage people will <laughs> be looking at this and being absolutely horrified at what I'm doing to their artwork, but anyway, their art form, should I say. Well, that's okay. That's another thing you do, we could put a um, napkin over the top. Because this chipboard is raw, maybe I should have um, gessoed it first, but it's soaking up the glue. Which is some the benefit of using old book covers. Because they're not as raw. It's funny looking at these, so these are old Trixie Bolton books that were falling apart. I've still got my ones that weren't falling apart, but these are the ones that were falling apart. And reading it, reading the pages as I go. Oh, I used to love Trixie Bolton. I'd read it again and again and again. And I'm sort of tempted to buy, rebuy them so they're I mean, getting old ones is awesome, but they're worth a bit. But you can, they were all republished, reprinted not that long ago. So there's newer ones, just for the sake of having the story. And then reading it. <laughs> you feel a little bit ridiculous reading it. This totally wasn't even what I thought about doing <laughs> when I got up this morning and um, I was planning to come down here. It wasn't, I don't know what I was planning with it, but this was not it. Sometimes you sort of find that just even generally. You have this idea of what you're going to look, what's it going to look like. And then it comes out being totally not. 
Again. Sorry about the noise. Obviously I'm not going to dry it fully, I just wanted to make it so it wasn't too bad so I'd turn it over. Um, clean up the goopy hands, baby wipes are good for all sorts of things. How are we going, 25 minutes. Okay, well so it's hit 25 minutes. So what I'm going to do is turn this around and I'll glue these. And then um, I'll turn off the video, finish this up, so this can go up. And then um, tomorrow, once they've had a chance to dry properly, um, we can continue working on this cover, um, which I think will be quite good. I have to work out what I'm going to put in the middle of it. Um, Sure, but so why did I bother wiping my hands? <laughs> um, what I may do is come back with it um, with whatever I'm going to put on the center bit here stuck down and the edges sewn so that then we can actually put together the covers so that they'll sort of go together um, ooh. what are we doing? 26 minutes yeah so then um, probably music paper might just be the best choice maybe So yes, I might just put music paper down and then sew around the edges. That might work. Put more dry in this one. Alrighty, so you can see. So, probably normally I'd recommend that you leave it properly to dry before flipping it over. So, this, um, this paper does work well because it just peels off of it. But, um, It's safer to leave it dry properly. As I <laughs> make it this little corner, there we go. 
There we go. Oh, that's a bit of a bloopy bit on there. That's alright. That'll be fine. Okay. Right. I'll let that to dry. They look pretty good. I'll let them to dry and then tomorrow um, we will continue on and I'll have hopefully I'll have the third one of these all sewn up and we'll be ready to go with putting them making the actual cover because I'll put some script some music paper here, sew it around, have it all ready for us to stick together, have the last little bit ready and then we'll um, we'll put it together so have a great day and I'll see you next time press a thumbs up and subscribe press that ring that bell all those things and I'll see you next time bye